All right, so today I got a new uh, piece for the interior, the uh, radio, bezel, console, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna re replace this one. You can see how nasty it is, and uh, the rubber coating is, uh, you know, just coming off, and it's all gooey and nasty. So I'll be replacing it with. This piece does not have the rubber coating on it, but it looks like the rubber coating. So let's get the old one off. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is get this get this door off. So you gotta get these uh, these four bolts out right here before this this uh, middle console can come up. So with this thing off, you just kind of lay it back there, and uh, the wire should be long enough. So the next thing you do is, uh, let's see, there's a screw here that I already took out, and let's see, you get, come on, and then there's another screw. That screws out, and there is a screw here and one here. So, all right, to get this thing up, you just lift it up, and you just there's a uh, there you go. You just kind of pop this out, and then the these come off pretty easy. I have to put the phone down, but uh, what you have to do is put this, in, pull this back, uh, so we can get this thing off. So let me get the rest of it off. That's so all you need to really do is just kind of pull this thing back a little bit, and then you can get to the screws in here. Uh, underneath there and up here and I remember we're going to, have to take this part off also so All right, there was a screw right here uh, but I've already got it out so just to show you that this thing is is uh, broken the screw where the screws go through were broken off down here you see they're still in still in the car down there so uh, I have to get those out. Okay, so I got the uh, the um, the old piece off. Uh, make sure that you do not drop the screws down there. So they're not easy to get out unless you have one of these uh, these grabber things. So if you don't have one of these go get one come in really handy for everything so <clears throat> and the, the bad part about like a car like this that sat outside in you know abuse for so many years is that uh, a lot of the the plastic is just hard and brittle and it it cracks like this is right here is is, is broken uh, it's just stuff you just don't want to take it apart unless you absolutely have to. So, or you're replacing other parts. So here we got the parts out, and uh, here's the old piece. You know, it's just nasty and broke. The rubber coating, like I said, was coming off. And uh, here's the new piece. Uh, it looks like it has the rubber coating, but it doesn't. So it's just a uh, non-coated part. As compared to this piece, this is a, uh, a replacement part for the vent, which is, it does have the rubber coating on it. You can see where it's coming off uh, right there. But you can see that there's little to no difference, and you can't tell the difference in the way it looks. So uh, let's get the pieces back on. Right, so to get this new piece back on, 
what you're going to see is there's a little there's a where is it right here this little clip and it's going to go on this piece right here so I need it's going to go over that so let's see if we can get it from the other side so I can show you what it's going to look like so so it goes in there like this and as you can see the uh, plastic from the old part is still in there so I'll get that out first so that's why I couldn't get it to go in so there's the uh, little clip put back on and uh, it's just going to sh shove in the uh, Sorry, I don't have the light on. We're just shoving the hole over there. So now maybe I can get it all put back on. And there's this up here. So and that will go. This part goes right there. So be careful to watch that when you put it in. All right, so it's uh, back on and everything's good and nothing's nothing's broke that wasn't broke before. So, now if I can just get this nasty thing replaced, it's all good. So, here we go.